Jeff Ferrus on the hot homestead. So here we are wiring out my distribution box for my whole solar setup. And so what I'm going to do in this episode, or in this video actually, is I'm going to just show you how I'm stripping these wires. And then the next one or the prior one or whatever I'll do of the box. But just so you know, this was just of the wires. So what I have here is I have some outdoor wire, what they call direct, direct ground cable or direct ground wire. It's There's three wires, a black, a white, and a copper. And on this, it's this one happens to be um, rated at uh, 20 amps and it's uh, what they call it 12 slash 2 and it's it's also known as direct bury direct burial so means I don't need to put it in a uh, into a uh, any kind of conduit I can just put it in the ground so but let me show you how I'm stripping this as you can tell there is more of this than I need which is what you want to do when you string this through you want to have extra to give you some room it's better to have too much than not enough in this area so and and just a little quick disclosure the size of my system my count my particular county says I don't need any inspections and so I know this setup here is not exactly to quote code because I understand it's supposed to drop down so many inches and then move over but um, and the county said I don't need a permit for this small system so anyhow so let me show you how I'm cutting this now there are different ways to actually strip these wires and uh, but I'm going to show you the way that I'm doing it I'm going to just use a utility knife here and when you look down inside I don't know how well it's going to come out in the camera but you have looks like the uh, white colored um, wire is there the white coating then you have the copper in the middle and then the black on the side what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start one end doesn't matter which end and when I do so I'm going to try to lean the knife towards the center so right now I'm between this white which yeah this white one and the uh, and over here I got the black and the copper and then when I go to, to run this blade down this wire I'm gonna make sure that the wire itself is nice and flat so there's no curves in it so I want it to face the exact same way so as I go down here then I'm gonna take my utility knife and I'm going to slightly lean it into the copper because if I scratch the copper it's okay if I scratch and and damage the white then I could be in a lot of trouble because I create a short basically now I granted I have a long line here and that's one of the reasons why you have a long line but as you kind of get started you go down a little bit and then you got to look to see am I indeed showing copper I am then I'm going to look over here and I don't see the white right along here so that's a good sign I see a little bit of it right there and that's fine because on the tip of it I'm going to show you what we're going to do so now some people are strong enough to where they can just pull on this and it'll go from there well me I ain't that strong so I'm going to just make sure again it's all nice and straight. Make sure my knife is towards the copper as much as possible. I can kind of feel when I do the blade I can kind of feel it going scraping the copper and that's what you want. Now what I'm going to do is go all the way up, so you couldn't see it there, but I went all the way up in through to about here-ish. As you can see what I've done with the others, I've left a little bit of the gray showing. So now what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning, and how you can see that copper now, 
See, so just scrape the copper perfectly. Hopefully you can see it in the glare. There you go, the copper is glaring. So now what I'm going to do is on this very end, if you notice there, it's not showing the copper. That's just fine, because now I'm going to take my knife, just kind of wiggle the copper out a little bit. Help push the copper out. And then I'm going to go down and then just cut that little piece there. And now the copper just pulls right on out. And I'll pull all the way out to that ending piece. Now, this here, you can't quite tell, but this is my white one. Now, the very tip of this, you're going to cut anyhow. So, it doesn't matter when you go to do this here, when you're just slicing it. But all you're trying to do is split this gray so you have something like this. I'm going to do the same thing with the black side. Now the black side is going to be a little thicker, but you're going to do the exact same way. Sometimes one time does it, sometimes you need to do it twice. Now from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Some people again are strong where they can just pull on this, but me, I've got to use some pair of pliers to hang on to it. I'm going to hold on to the end, kind of get me started. And once you get started, just pull. See, so look at how it's just pulling. See how it just pulls away? Pulled so fast it got out of the camera picture there. Do the other one here. Get it started. Maybe. Now the reason why this goes so easy is because the inside here where you've cut is now a thinner, more vulnerable piece of, uh, of, of this rubber coating, this insulation. The outer side is so much thicker. So when you do have trouble pulling on it, it might just be that your slice got a little crooked. Because when your slice is right on, it just pulls like say. So now what you have is you have all this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a utility knife and just cut these. So now we have finished splicing your cable, your wire. This is your ground. I have it now going into my ground. I have my black going into my breaker. And then the white is called the common. And that's going on to the common piece. So. So as you can see, you see here how it's stripped and then therefore you can just slide it into your grooves that you have. So you got that holder there, you've got the one in for here, the breaker, and then the same thing goes with the ground. Now in another video I'm going to do wiring up the box, but this was just to let you know what happens with the wiring so that's it on the wiring stripping the wires so enough with the stripping let's put some things together jeff arizona hot homestead don't forget to like subscribe share comment and i guess i'll see you next time <laughs>